They do the same script over and over again. So they're claiming that this is an asteroid and they intercepted it and blew it up, right? Okay, would you like to see this? Is why it's so important to, to go yourself and record stuff yourself and figure out if it's true or not because these people lie all the time. I recorded this last night with night vision goggles on a live stream on Instagram. Ready? You guys are getting the idea. Oh, you see that? It just went to there. You see that? Okay, that was quick, but that's how fast they move. So watch this. So, boom, look how fast that's gone. And look, it goes right to the star Vegas, allegedly. That's the name of it. So, as you can see, it goes through that star and then lands right there, boom. Okay, some people can't see this, and that's okay. I was talking about that in a live stream last night, where there are veils. There are veils that people cannot see through, and it's because of their own choice and their own commitment to what I believe to be Satanism, okay? And Satanism now goes by the science, not science. There's a new um, term called the science, which is nonsense, it's Loki, it's upside down. So you can, a lot of you guys can see what I just showed you and how the NASA video is absolute nonsense, right? And, and people in the past have said, oh, these truthers, they just, they just hoax all this. I did this on a live stream last night with night vision goggles. Everyone was there. You can trust me or not. I don't give a shit, but this is what it actually looks like. You guys are getting the idea. Boom. You see that? So it looks like a tra it literally looks almost like an angel flying right to that star. Boom, like a stargate. And look at how many, uh, and I'm not making a claim it's a stargate. I'm just letting you know that they're claiming that something moving that fast with that much energy is a rock, a cold rock that they could shoot with a probe, but yet they can't land on the moon again. And if you don't see it, that's on you. I'm not here for the people that can't see it. And there are people, there are people in this world, millions, possibly billions, that could look at those two videos and say, yeah, that makes sense, NASA's not lying. And before you get mad at them, understand that they're not capable of seeing it. And it's the equivalent of right now, I'm not, I don't have a good internal compass. I don't, I don't naturally know which way is north, south, west, or east. I have to like look at the, sun think about what time it is really think it takes me like 10 minutes and i'm like oh that's northwest there's people that you can drop them off 50 miles away in the wilderness and they can instinctively walk home i i don't have that now imagine if that guy was mad at me for it like imagine if the guy that just naturally knows what direction he's facing which is completely possible there's human beings on this planet that are completely dialed into uh what direction they're facing Okay, imagine if I was like, I don't know, man, I got I have no idea. And he's like, you're asleep, you're asleep, right? That's how these people are with like NASA, nuclear bombs, and I'm like, they are not able to see through a wizard's lie.